simplifying radical expressions with factors on the outside of the radical. See that we've got factors on the outside now. Here's the radical. We've got the radicon on the inside, and we've got factors on the outside. So what do we do with that? We do it, we do it the very exact same way with one additional step. So let's go. We've got 3 times 100 times 2 is what we break it down on the inside. So that gives us the square root of 100 is 10. Now this is where it comes different. You take the 10 and multiply it by the 3, and you get 30 square root of 2. Now let's do this one here. We've got 4. No, I'll tell you what. I'll let you do this one. Do 4 square root of 12. See what you get and then come back with me. So we've got 4 square root of, and you break it down into 4 times 3, which gives you, and square root of 4 is 2. So 2 times 4 is 8 square root of 3. All right, now one with a variable on the outside also. So we go 4m times 4, oh, uh, that's a radical, not a parentheses, 4 times 5 times m squared. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. The square root of m squared is m. m times m is m squared and you're left with 5 on the inside as your radicon. Alright, do you want to try this last one? Pause the video and see what you could come up with. Alright, we've got 5r squared times and you can break the 32 up into 16 times 2 times r to the 4 and the s3 can be s2 times s. So we've got 5r, excuse me, the multiple, the square root of 16 is 4, so we go 4 times 5 gives us 20. The square root of r4 is r2, so we multiply r2 times r2 and we get r4. The square root of s squared is s, and on the inside we're left with 2s. Did you get that? Because that was a complicated one.